Hello viewers, I'm back today with another episode about cybercrime. My name is Sharmishta Shinoy and I'm the author of the Vikram Rana mystery series. I've also written a true crime book called the Hyderabad Heist where I worked very closely with the Hyderabad police. Now please let me know how many have, of you have really heard about my character Vikram Rana. I'll be very interested to know. Okay, back to this episode. In the previous two episodes about cyber crimes, I've talked about extortion and I've also talked about side loading. Do you know what is side loading? If you are not aware of what is side loading, I request you to go to my previous episode and have a look. Side loading is very important to know because this is the latest technique that the uh, scammers are using to uh, scam you out of, the, uh, of your money. People out there are waiting you know just to grab your money today let us talk about the pitfalls of taking easily available loans if when imagine you are in a saturday afternoon and you are uh, taken a very nice meal and now you are happily going to take a nap you just fallen asleep when there's a call suddenly on your phone you wake up and you take the call and the person at the other end says sir do you want to take a loan now most of you would be very irritated and you'll cut the call mostly but there are many people who are in desperate need of money and they do take up this kind of offers never take loans from unknown sources there is no such thing as easy money and you will see the pitfalls of taking these kind of loans when I take you through the story of Gayatri. Gayatri is a charming young lady. She teaches in a school and despite being a teacher, her students seem to love her a lot. Even her colleagues like her a lot. She is quite happy in her job but the income is pretty modest being a school teacher. Her husband Ganesh is a medical representative. She, he also earns quite a modest amount of money but together they earn enough money to make both ends meet and they are even able to set aside a little bit of savings for emergency purposes. Now one day what happened was Gayatri's colleague bought a car. Gayatri went a little mad. Without even informing her husband, she dipped into their savings and bought a car. She was very happy. She finally got a car, a symbol of her independence. Then, as per Murphy's law, what happened is tragedy struck. Within a month of her buying the car and there being no money in their savings account at all, Ganesh met with an accident. He was rushed to a hospital and you know it was a major surgery and huge amount of hospital bill. Now Gayatri has no money. What to do now? Yet her husband's life is at stake. She has to get money from somewhere. When she was browsing through the internet, she came across the ad for Asan loans. So without even thinking twice, she downloaded the app and she found that documentation was pretty simple. They just wanted her to uh, update her, upload her KYC documents and then they would give her the money. She was ecstatic. She uploaded her documentation and she asked for a loan of 3 lakhs and it was granted to her. She was very happy that she was able to pay off her husband's hospital bill. But when after she took the loan, she realized the enormity of the problem that she has created. She would have to pay back 3,50,000 rupees within a span of three months. And she had no money. Remember, she had just bought her car and um, she had just taken a loan of 3 lakhs that has already been spent in the hospital. She will need some more money for physiotherapy etc etc so she had absolutely no money but she didn't think much about it at that point of time she was desperate her husband's life was at stake 
so she uh, put that aside in her mind for some time at the end of 3 months the loan app of customer care person started calling initially they were polite but once gayatri expressed her inability to pay off the loan in, within 3 months they started harassing her the insults started name calling started and she was like she in a nightmare situation she didn't know what to do then finally one of them suggested that she can take up another loan of 5 lakhs to for out of this 5 lakhs 3 and 1/2 lakhs would be spent in paying off her previous debt and then she will have some more money gayatri had no option so she took that 3 5 lakhs of loan again and after that she was given 3 more months to pay off her debt of 5 lakhs and the interest accompanying interest so she continued and again at the end of 5 months she was unable to pay the loan this time the threats became far more sinister the call center employee told her that they had access to her contacts they had access to her photos they threatened to morph nude bodies on her face and send it to all the people in her contact list so kahitri was at her wit's end she felt suicidal and she didn't know what to do and suddenly then she got a call from her principal of the school her boss the principal was looking very glum and very solemn and after she called her inside the cabin she showed her a whatsapp picture that she had received from the asan loan team it was a nude body on which her face was morphed gayatri felt the world crumbling in around her she felt uh, dizzy she probably lost con- consciousness for a minute and once she woke up she felt horrified she felt suicidal she didn't know what to do and she had no money to repay back the loan luckily for gayatri her husband and her colleagues were extremely supportive and they helped her to pay off her loan she had to sell the car the symbol of her independence and she had to sell off her jewelry the symbol of her heritage and culture and she came out of this death trap admittedly highly scarred but she did came out, come out there are many people who have taken such loans and they had no support system and they had committed suicide there was even the instance of a young woman who had murdered her grandmother to get the hold of the granny's jewelry and to sell them off to repay her debts now that young woman's life is ruined she is in jail for the rest of her life so what do we learn from gayatri's story the first thing is common sense right never spend more than you earn but common sense is it really so common it's hardly very common second is that when you are taking a loan suppose you have to you are forced to take loan don't take loans from unknown sources money person who is giving away money easily beware of that person there's no such thing as easy money the other things that you need to do is you know do more research never download a loan app without doing a lot of research on that loan app have you checked for the rbi registration details of that loan app um uh, ensure that the company has a registered bona fide offline address and also ensure that the loan app has a registered safe secure mobile website as well as a mobile app when downloading the app deny access to the app to your contacts and to your photos every legitimate app has a nbfc affiliation check whether this loan app that you are downloading has this nbfc affiliation ask for loan sanction letter as well as the loan term sheet when you are taking the loan finally 
approach the police if you are getting harassed by these people and next last but not the least consider changing your phone number